YouTube. What's going on? Welcome to Mo's Knows. I'm your host, Mo's. And today we got a special episode for you. We are continuing in our 32 team mock draft series. But I told you I was going to get some fans. I told you I was going to reach out to you, the people, and bring you guys on and have you guys help me do this. Today I got my bro Chris with me. Uh, one of the members of the Bills Mafia. Chris, what's going on with you, bro? All right, man. What's good? What's good? What's good with you, man? <laughs> chilling, chilling. Um, let's talk about this Bills team, man. Uh, yeah. What a what a move. Bringing in Von Miller, adding yeah. him to that defense, which was already one of the top defenses in the league. Yeah. Now you add a, a, a closer like Von Miller. Talk about, you know, his importance to this team and what bringing him in means yeah, absolutely. for you guys. Absolutely. I mean... We were a top defense, uh, you know, majority of the year, um, and we were great at creating pressures. You know, make quarterbacks pat their feet, be very uncomfortable in the pocket. Um, and you know, what we weren't the best at was, like you said, Von Miller does very well, which is finishing. Um, you know, he brings that championship pedigree to us, um, which I think is important. Um, his character is a high character, and he's played in big time games, and you know, had some of his best games in big time games. So. The direction that we're headed in, being in a lot of games, a lot of big games with the Chiefs and you know quarterback, quarterback so crazy in the AFC right now. Um, it was it was you know an unbelievable feeling to bring him here with us to you know help us try to win that championship. Absolutely. So you got that for you going for you. Uh, mm -hmm. We know who your quarterback is, young stud, top three in sure. the league in my opinion. Absolutely. Able to re-sign Stephon Diggs to an extension. And yeah. now we're going to get into this mock draft and we're going to find a young crop of rookies that we can bring in to help get this t Bills team over the top. So let's just jump right in. Uh, right. Let's let's take care of that. Uh, we're going to select the Bills. We want seven rounds and we're going to move pretty fast. So let's, let's get right. this going. Now I'm going to pause right here. Uh, Got you. And ask you this question. We're in the first round. Bills pick at 25. Do you yep. want to stay at 25 or are you, you you thinking about moving up? What's your thought process here? I want to stay. I, I think I like a lot of guys that will fall to 25 to us um, that are still team needs for us. Absolutely. All right, let's stay at 25. Get the draft hey. started. Okay, so we got two trade offers here at 25. My... <laughs> <laughs> they trying to do me crazy. Got my 49ers. Like, like I'm like I'm purposely pushing this. I, I know my 49ers trying to recoup and get a first round pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, 49ers are offering 61, 93, 105, and a second round pick next year for yeah. 25. And then you have yeah. the Chicago Bears who are offering pick 39 yeah. and a second round pick next year for pick 25 and a seventh rounder next gotcha. year so do you want to accept any of these trades or you want to stay put at 25. nah let's stay put okay so we'll reject both of those um so uh we're under all so we got the top players remaining on the board we got kenny pickett gotcha. from pittsburgh but we don't need a quarterback andrew Wood jr yeah. corner from clemson wide receiver drake london from usc corner trent mcduffie from washington and offensive guard King and Green from Texas A&M. Those are our top yeah. five. Yeah. Uh, what position? What? Uh, what? First of all, what side of the ball you want to attack? Offense or defense first? We're gonna attack all uh, defense with our first pick. All right, and we, we want to go edge, linebacker, corner, safety, defensive tackle. Let's go corner, and give me Mr. Boo from Clemson. Uh, Boom. Give me Mine Mr. Made Boo up. From why, why you like Andrew Booth Jr. from Clemson? I like Andrew Booth because, you know, we lost Levi Wallace to Pittsburgh um, and that kind of hurt me. I think he's very underrated. He does the job well. Doesn't do anything excellent, but does does a lot of things good. Um, and, you know, the, the style of defense that Leslie Frazier likes to play with, you know, Sean McDermott, um, losing him, we, we bring back Trey White. I think bringing Andrew Booth in there alongside of Trey White. Uh, we got a lot of young guys in Dane Jackson. Teron Johnson. So I think we keep, you know, keep getting younger, but better. I think he has that skill set of physical play, one on one, you know, attacking the ball, coming up to tackle when necessary. Um, you know, I like his ball skills and, he, and he's physical. So I like that with Trey White. Cool. Andrew Wu Jr. is the selection at 25. And then we're going to go into the second round. We're on the clock at pick 67. 
So now you got two trade offers here. First from the Browns. They're offering pick 78, 99, and 118. In return, you would have to give up 57 and 168. And the Buccaneers hmm. are offering pick 133. But they're also offering a second round pick next year and a fourth round pick next year. But you would have to give up 57 and 203. Yeah, I'm not helping uh, Tom Brady, so that's not happening. Um, <laughs> and uh, no, nah, I'm not going to take Cleveland's offer either. Okay, so we're going to stand pat at 57. Yeah, we're going to stand pat. Yeah. Do we want to stay on defense or do we want to move to the um, offensive let me check ball? Defensive tackle real fast. <laughs> He's still on the board. I mean, I mean, you see who I'm looking at. <laughs> I think I think I know who you're looking at. <laughs> I, uh, I have no idea why Devontae Wyatt is still on the board. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he is. I mean, listen. 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 Um, Let me check it's, offense to go to receivers real fast. Okay. Jahan Dawson. Okay, Jahan Dawson, Alec Pierce, Pierce George Pickens. Pickens from Georgia, Jalen yeah. Tolbert, David Bell. Those are the top five right now. Give me Wyatt right now. Just go back to defense. Let's do the DT. Devontae Wyatt right Give there. Give me Devontae Wyatt, man. Wow. Let's beat this, let's wow. beat this thing up. <laughs> let's beat this thing up. A, a defensive line, and we, we talked about it previously, a defensive line that I think is one of the best in the league. It, yep. Eight or nine guys deep. You yep. add Von Miller to that, that defensive front, and now you add Devontae Wyatt, too? Absolutely. Ed and Oliver and him have some fun. Oh, my God. Him next to Ed Oliver? Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, pick 89. We got two trade offers. All right. Miami wants pick 89, and they also want pick 231, but they're going to give you 102 Ooh. and 125. Tennessee wants pick 89, and they also want 231, but they're only going to give you 169, but then a third in 2023 and a fifth yeah. in 2023. Is it possible to see who's on the board before I make this accept this offer or no? Um, I only have it on the defensive side of the ball. Got you. I got you. Yeah, because I, I mean can you see. can you can see on that on the side. Yeah. I can see offense. Yeah. Okay. Um, go back to Miami one more time. I don't like I don't like doing business with Miami though. Right. Division in division yeah, rival. Ah, no, I can't do it. This is not in me. I can't do it. I'm good on okay. the offers. Yeah. And then no to Tennessee as well? No to Tennessee as well. All right. So who do we want at 89? Still let's go to defensive side. Let's go to offense. Okay. And let's uh let's see what receivers are left. Justin Ross from Clemson. Calvin Austin the third from Memphis. Eric okay. Easton Comer from Texas Tech. Khalil okay. Shakir from Boise State and Wandell Robinson from Kentucky. Those are the top five. Also, Tyquan uh, Thornton from Baylor here. He ran a 4 2 six, down there. Four, two, eight, Something like that. Mm. Okay, let's go running back. Isaiah Spiller, Jerome Ford, Tyler Batty, James Cook, and Brian Robinson, Robinson Jr. are your top five. Bam. Uh, let's go receiver again, and let's do. You know what? I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a risk on on, on Taekwon Thor. I'm gonna take a risk okay. on Taekwon Thor. I'm gonna take you a risk add on that him. speed. Add that speed, man. Need that speed out there. Okay. All right, back on the clock at one third. Oh my Jeez. goodness. Minnesota must have somebody that they love. That they love at 130. Because they giving you 156, 184, 191, yeah. and 250 yeah. all this year. Yeah, all this year. Pick 130. You know what? I'ma be nice to Minnesota. They gave us digs. So yeah, we can do that. Let's take that offer. Okay. Let's take that offer. Adding four picks. Yeah. Let's so you're on the clock at 156. Okay. Where do we want to go at this at this pick? Let's go running back. Okay, Zonovan Knight, North Carolina State, Zamir White from Georgia, Jerion Ely from Mississippi, Hassan Haskins Asking. from Michigan, and Abram Smith from Baylor. K 
Kenny Brooks from Oklahoma. Um, Zamir White from Georgia. Yeah, Zamir still on the board. <sighs> yeah, let's go with Zamir. Okay, let's go with Zamir. Solid. Back on the clock at one sixty-eight. These are all the picks that we got from Minnesota. Let's go with. Let's go. Hey. He said. He said. He said I want. He said I want to pick somebody too. Hey. No. No. Give me one second, man. I'm sorry. It's all good. Hey, the dog said, "Hey, man, I, I gotta make some picks too. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm part of Bill's mafia as well. So he was trying to, he's trying to give his two cents. It's what you need in the war room. You need somebody to come, you know, give you some, some additional insight and picks you're trying to make. <laughs> We're ready now. I think, like you said, I think he's trying to be a little part of this Bill's mafia. Right, right. That's what, that's what I was just saying. I was like, yeah. you know, those, those barks aren't just random barks. He's trying to give you insight into he what he's thinking for pick 168. He was like, listen, I let you make all these picks without my <laughs> advice, but now I'm, I'm trying to help you out here. <laughs> we got we got more picks than we thought we would because Minnesota sure got, do. got desperate. They, got, sure they do. got desperate. They wanted to jump up. So now I'm trying to give you some help. <laughs> All right, all right, let's see. All right, so we back on one, what is that, 168? 168, and then we're back on the clock, 184 and 185. So we got back to back picks at the top okay. of the sixth round. Um, Let's go. Let's go O-line. Guard or tackle? Or let's center? Go ta let's go tackle. Let's go tackle. Okay. Max Mitchell from Louisiana, Kellen Deesis from Arizona State, Jalen McKenzie from USC, uh, John Delance from Florida, and no Logan time. Russ from Wisconsin are your top five. Patriots. Um, in my opinion. Good night, Carter. You know what? Go defense for me one second and go to safety. Okay. Oh, Smoke Monday from Auburn. Marquise Bell, Florida AM, Quentin Lake from UCLA, Bubba Bolden from Miami, and Scott Nelson from Wisconsin. Uh, see. Uh, I mean, having Micah and Jordan Poirier both for two more years, I, they're older safeties, though. Um, Still dogs. Okay, They're let's go back. Dogs. To, still dogs. Let's go to O line. Let's go back to O line. Let's go back to O line and let's go with. Give me Logan Brush from Wisconsin. I like it. Logan Brush from Wisconsin. All right, back to back picks, eighty four and eighty five. Okay. Um, go receiver. Dontario Drummond from Mississippi. Danny Gray from SMU, Jareth Stern from Western Kentucky, Dejon Dixon from Nichols State. Oh, we still got Bo Melton from Rutgers on here. I see, I see Bo. Uh, Ellis Jones Jr. from Tennessee, Jalen okay. Naylor, Michigan State. Oh, Isaiah Weston from Northern Iowa. Okay, this is my back to back. So Shit back to back. Yep. My back to back. Let's go. Give me. Give me. Give me Bo. Bo Melton from Rutgers. Give me Bo Melton from Rutgers, man. I'm a Jersey guy. There we go. Okay, we got some. We got some speed in that wide receiver court. We sure do. Got some. Speed. Got a lot of speed now. I like Gotta that. Play okay, fast. back on the clock at one eighty five, and then we also will be on the clock six picks later at one ninety one. I'm very kind to Minnesota moving forward. Um, <laughs> very fond of Minnesota. Uh, let's go. Patriots. Let's go defense. And give me go corner. Marcus Jones, Vincent Gray, yeah. John 
Don Jolly. I mean, man. Like Vincent Gray. John Jolly's a good one too. Uh you know what? Go safety. Go safety. Go safety. Let's do let's do Let's go Quentin Lake. Quentin Lake from UCLA? Let's go Quentin Lake from UCLA. Sounds good to me. We got Quentin Lake from UCLA. John Jolly just won. Okay. Sean Jolly just went off the board. Let's go. Let's go O line. Let's go guard. Okay. Still some solid names. I like that top Ooh. four too. Yeah, I love this. I love this. I Donovan love this. West from Arizona State. Uh, Lou Godeke from Central Michigan, Cordell Volson from North Dakota State, yeah. and Dylan Parham from Memphis. Yeah. Give me. Give me. Give me Lou from Central Michigan. Okay. And then two o three, we're on the clock. All right. Clean enough in this sixth round. Let's go to the big board and see who we got in the top. Yeah, let's see what we got. Danny Gray, G Tech, James Houston, Chase Lucas. Watermar. Ooh, go up. Scroll down to Watermar. Give me Watermar. Ooh, okay. That's a nice addition to the offense. Give me Watermar. All right, on the clock at 231. Let me double check. Uh, and then 231 and then 250 are our final two picks. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go defense and let's go corner. Josh Blackwell from Duke. Tyler McMichael from North Carolina, Chris Steele from USC, Dakobe Durant from South Carolina State, and Devin Rocket from South Alabama are your top five. Okay. Um, show me linebacker one time. Jack Sanborn from Wisconsin. Ola Ola Kale Fatu Fatu Kasi from Rutgers. Kenai Mugal. From USC. I'm butchering yeah. these names. Forgive me. Yeah. <laughs> Clarence yeah. Hicks from UTSA. DeMarco Jackson from Appalachian State are your top five. Gosh. I also like Aaron Hansford from Texas AM. Jeremiah yeah. Moore from Florida. Malcolm Rodriguez from Oklahoma State. Let's go. Let's go Aaron from Texas AM. Let's put him with his buddy. Aaron Hansford? Yeah. Let's put him with let's his buddy, Wadamar. And then final pick in this in the 2022 NFL draft, pick 250. Let's go with let's go offense. Okay. And let's let's see the top prospects for a second. Tanner Connor, Ty Chandler from North Carolina. Jones, Jones. Uh, go running back. So we got Ty Chandler, Connor Hayward. He's like more of an H-back. I think he'll play more tight end. Uh, Max Borgie, Shamari Jones, BJ Baylor, um, Isaiah Pacheco from Rutgers. Let's go. You know what? Go receiver. We're getting Josh another another weapon in there. Okay. We're getting Josh another weapon. Let's go. Let's go. Like SME products. Let's go. Let's go. Village Jones from Tennessee. Nice. Okay. So we'll take a look at it. So at 25 in the first round, we stay put. We got Andrew Booth Jr. from Clemson. 
Then at 57, we got a gift because Devontae Wyatt fell and we ran to the podium to snatch him up. <laughs> at pick 89, we get Tyquan Thornton from Baylor. At 156, we get Zamir White from Georgia. At 168, we get Logan Bruss, offensive tackle from Wisconsin. At 184, we get wide receiver Bo Melton from Rutgers. At 185, we take safety Quentin Lake from UCLA. At 191, we take guard Luke Godekin from Michi Central Michigan. At 203, we add a, a big body tight end who can help us in the red zone in Jalen Watermeyer. At 231, we get his teammate Aaron Hanser from Texas A&M. And at 250, we add another wide receiver. We get Velas Jones Jr. from Tennessee. Let me uh, come back down here, pull that up again. So that is our draft. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven picks in all. We added those four late round picks from based on that trade with uh, the Minnesota Vikings, um, and we added a lot, a lot of young pieces. Um, so let's talk about this. What, what, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings? At, at, after the draft, is there anything that you might change or do differently, or do you like how this turned out for the for the Bills? I mean, I love how this turned out. To be honest, okay. I feel as if for for the mafia, we addressed all the needs. Um, we addressed all the needs. Our offensive group, you know, is 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 you know far in front of a lot of teams. I like to think so. Um, as far as needing to go receiver, you know, first two rounds or anything like that, we're running back as well. Um, I love, I love Gabriel Davis. I've been preaching him before Manny Sanders even got there. Um, so I think Stephon Diggs, man, uh, I mean, Gabriel Davis, Isaiah McKenzie, Jameson Crowder. Um, and then you add Tyquan Thornton, you know, and, and Bo Melton. You add the speed, you know, that, that Josh Allen can, you know, with that rock arm still use. Um, but I mean, I'm in love with the first five picks to be quite honest andrew yeah. Booth and, and wyatt i mean you know you, if wyatt's on the board there if we get you know you got to take them absolutely you got to take them yeah man i i, I love that I, I think i'm in agreement with you i think the first for me the first seven picks i think yeah. getting that, that safety late getting uh quentin lake at 185 yeah. again like we talked about we, we got two dogs at that position yeah. um so he comes in you know not having to start not exactly. have to worry about re, you know replacing a veteran at that position. He can exactly. just come in and learn from exactly. two of the best in the business. So the I, business. I think that's great. Yeah. Again, Tyquan Thornton, Bo Melton, they're going to add that speed. Uh, you can you can kind of use both similarly to you know how the 49ers use uh, Debo Samuel. You can exactly. throw him in the backfield. Exactly. You can use him on end rounds. Use him on bubble screens. Absolutely. We know Tyquan Thornton is going to stretch the field for us. Zamir White could come in and, and battle for the significant snaps in that exactly. running back room. Exactly. And then you add Andrew Booth and Devontae Wyatt, who I think can come in and be starters day one on a defense that's already really good. So you add young, hungry talent. Um, and then I think a, a sleeper pick for me is, is Jalen Watermeyer. I was just um, about to say. He, he he fell a little bit because he didn't test well. Yeah. But when you put pads on this dude and you let him play football, <laughs> yeah. he plays better than he's than he tested. To be exactly. perfectly honest with you, so exactly. Yeah, man, I, I I love what you were able to do. Appreciate it, man. Uh, let me get this out of here. Put us back on the screen. Love what you're able to do. Thank you so much for your time and coming on to do this with me. Absolutely. Bills Mafia, tap in in the comment section. Tap in, Let please. us know how you feel about this particular draft. Let us know what yeah. you like, what you didn't like, what you would do differently. Yeah. Um, all opinions are welcome. There's no Absolutely. right answer uh, just because we have no idea what these teams are actually going to do <laughs> when yeah. it comes to the 2022 NFL draft. So sound off yeah. in the comment section. I uh, love interacting with you guys there. Uh, you can uh, get in touch with me on my social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I will link those in the description below. Um, if this is your first time here at Moles Knows or if you've been on the fence, come on, man. What are you doing? Jump what are you on, doing? man. Jump Listen, on. Y'all already know. Jump, come on. Be a part of the Moles Knows family. Absolutely. Come know it all. On. And y'all know what I tell y'all. Once you're part of the family, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely uh, thank, you. Not. thank you for your time and attention tuning in. Chris, Bills Mafia. Yes, we sir. Taking it all, we taking it all the way hey, next year? It ain't going to be another 13 seconds. I promise you that.
that's all we needed Another to hear. Love on. and appreciate y'all, and I'll Absolutely catch you on episode 26. Peace. Appreciate you having me.